learn how to be zen while you're stressed with the deadlines. The process is such a long process, mainly of a lot of self-doubt and questioning. It's a never-ending learning process, so you're constantly learning new things and it's endless. There's no such thing as a full stop. There's always a lot longer process than you, than you think. That it's not easy, that it requires a lot of dedication and hard work and a lot of precision to actually make the design. I've been doing it for so long, I, I love it. So there's not really anything that anyone could have told me that I, I didn't already kind of anticipate and, and, and was ready for. A designer sometimes has or forced to do something he don't want just because for the client. If you have the discipline, you can practice any field of design there is. So I'm currently working on a project for the Ministry here in Dubai and one is a co-working space in Ras al -Khaimah. So I'm working on a villa on the Palm, which is a very interesting project and I'm also working on a few bank projects. I'm working on three private banks right now um, in different parts of the world, so two in, in the Middle East, one in the African region and then a really cool project which is a chalet in France. So apart from this, the most important for me now what, what I'm working on is to uh, continue to grow my design team and in order to have a super creative design team. I'm all about asymmetry, so I don't like being symmetrical. Well, personally, I think there is no design rule at all. So design is an unlimited amount of creativity. It's just not limited. Can I say the client brief? Challenging that can always come up with some really good outcomes. I do like to use materials in an unconventional way. Yeah, it's a very bright color. Orange is the source of creativity. One of my favorite colors, and I think it would work very well in office spaces, especially if I introduce the color through FFNE. Um, well, personally, I love the colour and if the clients, like brand assets, allow, then 100%. I love it, especially in its more pastel type of shade. Um, I'm currently using it in one of the co-working spaces. Definitely think that you could use it in the right kind of work environment, something that's a little bit more feminine, maybe, maybe not such a, um, a big corporate type of a company. It would be this very bright, um, open, airy, lofty, eclectic space. All glass. <laughs> Ceiling, groove, floor, stairs. It would be like a floating tropical island um, with lots of water sports. Get rid of everything that's not essential to making a point by um, Christopher Neiman. Creativity is a wild beast. It feeds on harmony by Fabio Novembre. I put my heart and soul into my work and lost my mind in the process by Van Gogh. Less is more. It's by Saarinen, it's the womb chair. Le Corbusier chaise longue. The Rio chaise lounge from uh, Oscar Niemeyer. Um, all of them. Accepting um, and forward thinking. A brave client would probably be my favorite. Someone who is willing to understand the design process everywhere, past, contemporary and future. Well, you're either jumping on the bandwagon or you're starting your own. Trend, for me, is like a passing fashion. Evolving, always. Community, uh, diverse and fast-paced. Big, bold and bougie. Demanding, uh, experimental and rewarding. Gen-setting, very creative and out of the box. Influenced by diversity. Push the boundaries.